Well, some lawmakers say Minnesota laws may need to be changed to help protect victims of sexual harassment. This comes as a second public Minnesota university is facing accusations of sexually inappropriate behavior by a top athletic department official. The Winona Daily News is reporting that Winona State's longtime men's basketball coach, Mike Leaf, resigned in June after a male player said he had been propositioned by Leaf. The revelation comes as the University of Minnesota is in the early stages of an investigation into the behavior of Norwood Teague, who resigned as athletic director earlier this month. Three women have come forward publicly with harassment claims against Teague. Joining us to talk about these uh, situations is the influential chair of the Minnesota Senate Higher Education Committee, Senator Terry Bonham. Senator, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Esme. All right. Now, you told me before the show that you have personally reached out uh, in the Winona State case, a, a case that is just coming to light. What have you been told by authorities at Winona State? Well, I called Chancellor Rosenstone, actually the Chancellor of Minsky, rather than Winona State directly, and asked about the case. And it was the first I had learned about it is when I read about it in the paper and so what he shared with me is that first of all I just want you to know I'm really really saddened to read about it I'm saddened for the player I'm saddened for my concern about you know has this gone on before have there been other players that have been confronted with this situation and what the chancellor said is that in this particular case, everything was really done right and with urgency. As soon as the situation came up, this young man reported the very next day. Thank goodness he did that. The day after that, we learned that coach had resigned. He was asked to resign and an investigation has been opened up. And so um, I think though what it underscores is how prevalent this is across, I'm sure the nation, I mean this, this practice of sexual harassment is something that exists and unfortunately it's something that we as a society have to confront and we have to do so I think with um, perhaps more strength than we have in the past. All right. I think what's troubling to a lot of people is that these are publicly funded universities, taxpayer dollars here. Uh, a lot of money was spent you know researching Norwood Teague, bringing him to the University of Minnesota. Uh, from where you sit, uh, yeah. do laws, regulations need to be tightened? Do lawmakers need to have more access to some of these allegations? I think we do. For example, when I first learned of the settlement around the Title IX case. Against I, Norwood Teague and the exactly, University of Minnesota. Yep. Um, I learned about it reading that in the paper. Just think what might have happened if, in fact, the legislature had a report that said there was this case, there was a, a settlement being proposed, and then people would have had to ask the tough questions. I think we would have learned in that discussion about the, the case that the university didn't know about when they first hired Norwood Teague, but then later found out that it happened in his previous job. If those things had come to light in the course of public hearings, then perhaps the outcome might have been different. Maybe the university would have said, you know what, we don't trust Norwood Teague. But, you know, I don't fault the university for that. You certainly wouldn't bring that case to the legislature without some policies in place. And so that's what I'll have to, to look at. All and right. our committee will have to look at. All right. Do Minnesota laws have to be changed or improved to help protect harassment victims and make it easier for them to come forward? Again, I, I think that is something that we have to look at. I was really struck when I read Amelia Reynolds' column where she went to her employer and she said this happened and then was left really on her own to make a decision about whether or not taking action would hurt her career. And I don't want the victims to be in that position. I want the victims to feel like their employer has their back. I want their employer to be um, standing there saying absolutely you come forward but you don't have to come forward because we're going to take steps because you're in our employment and we're going to make sure that we have an environment where our people are protected so those are the kinds of um, stories that make me question it so I have been speaking with our Senate Council and I've asked in this particular case a shout out to John Fuller my uh, Senate Council I've asked him to look at what's on the books how we might strengthen that in light of 2015 social marketing social media practices and I think um, that there will be some changes that can be made to strengthen protections for victims all right well Senator Terry Bonoff always a pleasure thank you so much for coming in this morning yeah thank you